Freedom Express 271 Blast here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Get ready to blast off. Get it? Blast, blast off it. This is a comedy, people. These are the jokes. Work with me. Um, this is a truly half-ton towable travel trailer toy hauler. And one of the largest you'll get because it is an ultralight. That's kind of the thing people mistake with an ultralight. Um, what you are getting with an ultralight is the largest trailer per pound you can find. That's what an ultralight represents. This thing only comes in at 5750. So let's say you got a good 11, 1200 pound bike, you're still very comfortably half ton towable. So that's a, this thing sells like crazy. And one of the big reasons is it's a half ton towable travel trailer toy hauler that still has a full walk around, true 80 inch queen bed. It is absolutely awesome in that respect, and not a lot of other things can match that. Um, you're going to see a little bit of optional equipment in this video. I'll point it out as we go. Uh, so keep in mind, the unit we have in stock might be a little bit different. So for 2016, what did they do? Um, graphics package, first of all, looks sweet. They broke away a little bit from the uh, rank and file Freedom Express uh, graphics bundle just to give it a little bit of a toy hauler edge because for some reason you know toy haulers got to be extreme brother but uh, you know I think it looks pretty sweet so not really offensive by any stretch of the imagination here uh, but what's nice is we still have uh, you know coachman's freedom express underneath that candy coated shell what I mean by that is you have their uh, highest level and best-selling ultralight all wrapped up in one if it's a little windy on the camera I apologize keep in mind it's 30 degrees here right now so it's cold and windy where I'm standing so please have a little bit of heart um, big power awning on here and it does have uh, LED lighting under that awning so you push a button get an awning it's just that simple because this has a full walk around bed we get the advantage of these roughly what 30 inch ish uh, baggage doors here so we do still have a full pass through under bed storage which most toy haulers just don't have most toy haulers have spit for outside storage um, also the baggage door is wide so you can get in and out of it easily you can use this just like a travel trailer at the end of the day it could be a travel trailer or a toy hauler, a bunkhouse, uh, uh, three seasons, or it can be anything you want it to be. Now, a really cool thing here is it doesn't just have um, underbelly enclosures uh, in the uh, living area, it also has it in the garage because this does not have a fueling station. That's the hiccup with a fuel station. You cannot have an enclosed underbelly where there's a fuel station for fire hazard reasons. Um, they make the uh, front fiberglass sweep here white instead of tan like the rest of the trailer. And they're doing that for bedroom heat because folks who are saying, man, when I go camping, I love the look of my trailer, but my bedroom is just cooking. So they took one of those uh, little like thermal laser things that are like thermometers that you use a, like a laser pointer with, those fancy contraptions. And they stuck it against the inside of the bedroom wall on a standard skin trailer. Then they built one like this with the white skin and shot it on here and it was between 10 to 20 degrees cooler depending on the temp outside. Huge difference. So, you know, you're not cooking to death. Um, we've put a power tongue jack on this. That's one of those things that may or may not be present on the next one we have. Um, standard thing is this awesome utility tray. Now, I love how you have a two tier system going on. You, first of all, almost three tier in a sense because you have the tongue mounted spare tire. They've loaded the tongue because if you load a bike, behind the axles, you're going to lighten up the tongue significantly. So you can add or remove cargo and uh, things like batteries from your tongue to customize your load to give you a smoother transition down the road. It eliminates porpoising and getting pushed. It's really neat because that's the trick with toy haulers is they have a little more tongue weight on average than other things because they're designed to have a big heavy something in the garage behind the axles giving you a cantilever effect, which is, if you think of it like a seesaw, uh, uh, lightens up the nose. The um, tray up here you can use for just general utility, cargo. It could be perfect for a little portable generator. It is uh, uh, slotted here so it's not going to just pool up rainwater. You have room for a double battery down there. You know, it's just easy to get to. Um, yeah, I mentioned 5,750 pounds, so very easy and lightweight. Uh, we have a, just an all-in-one spot docking center here. You've got your cable and satellite hookup, all your water, outside shower. Um, does connect to the water heater, by the way, not a real long jaunt, obviously. But we do have a black tank flush, too. So when you're all done, hook your fresh water up to that, blow out your black tank, head home. Uh, Freedom Express has used wide stance stability axles. And in a toy hauler, that's really cool because, again, it helps fight that porpoising effect. Um, and uh, nobody ever complains about good looking rally aluminum wheels on a toy hauler. Um, the uh, garage door is heavily spring loaded 
and they all it's almost oversprung straight from the factory because after a couple years they want it to still remain good and strong that's why you see this wind actually causing it to flap a little bit because the spring assist is so strong that it makes it light and easy now if there's no wind it's just going to hug the ground it's not like you're going to have to pop a wheelie to get your uh, bike up here um, just give you a quick view of this side then we're going to hop in out of the this bitter wind which i'm welcoming because my hands are getting cold um, we have added the uh, power uh, bed lift back here now normally if it doesn't have that your sofas would be bolted to the wall when you add the power bed lift the sofas uh, become married into that lift and you actually have a two-tier system so these can roll over and become bunks if you are so inclined and here's exactly how difficult it is done that's all there is to it and if you roll them both over they actually kiss right in the middle and you can make this thing almost like a probably bigger than another queen bed which by the way you have up top here and this is a real bed this is not a bunk mat this is a real queen bed that is cool i was really impressed when i saw that they added a slight dovetail back here which the 271 did not have last year but what this is giving us is just that easier angle of attack i'll give you a trick here guys if you want a really easy load angle take your tongue jack and just crank it up as high as it can go put a block under it if you need to and what you'll do is every inch you gain on the tongue you gain like two inches behind the axles and you can make this thing a very smooth transition that's a little tip from your uncle josh right there in the garage area we have 12 tie down d-rings 2500 pound rated and uh i mean they're all over the place so you know they're just uh you can tie all kinds of stuff down and we do have a uh, like a rubberized diamond plate type flooring in here Pardon me, I came in the back door instead of the front door where all the light switches are located, so let me turn all this stuff on. All LED lights, just like a normal Freedom Express. Um, the uh, Again, at the end of the day, it's still a Freedom Express ultralight. This one just happens to have a garage door on the back. Oh, I forgot to pull this down, I'm sorry. You have a, uh, a big uh, table up here. Um, it's a uh, uh, inside outside utility table and here let me show this would be easier over here it has the same material as this countertop notice it's it's uh, not t molded there's no seams wear on this thing so you can uh, you can take it outside if it gets a little moist who cares dry it off wipe it down you're all set this does have an 18 gallon per hour gas electric water heater with fast recharge what that means is gas and electric simultaneously um, I feel like I'm missing some oh central air conditioning not all toy haulers have central air but again, at the end of the day, it's still a Freedom Express. Sometimes we'll upgrade that air conditioner to a 15K, sometimes not, just depends. Um, uh, the uh, TV that you'll find with this trailer will be uh, mounted on that flat screen. I simply couldn't get to this one yesterday. It got too dark and there's just no way I could do my videos in the dark. And uh, the uh, whole TV's on a swing arm here, so it can face wherever you want, basically. Other than the bathroom and the bedroom, everybody gets a good shot at this thing. All your windows open for cross breeze. All of your windows have nice little uh, pleated nightshades on them. So if you want to black everything out, you can do that. If you want privacy, if you don't want people scoping out your bikes, you can do that too. Uh, let's kick over to the kitchenette area. Not a, uh, you know, most toy haulers aren't going to have a massive kitchen. You just don't have the space for it. That being said, this is not bad because you could utilize any number of extra cubbies here as extra space. And keep in mind, things like this pass all the way back. So you actually have a fair amount of storage here, that more than you may realize. Again, you have sealed edge countertops, so if you're splashing water around the sink, it's not going to be a problem. Uh, like all the other Freedom Expresses, this has an American stone cast sink, and it is American produced. Coachman's awesome for that. They American source as many things as they can. This is not a plastic sink. So if you're cooking something over here, uh, heating up some noodles or something, you gotta, you gotta dump off some hot water. This won't melt because it's not cheap plastic. And you have good drawer space down here. That is very welcome. It's very uncommon to get good drawer space in a lot of half-ton toy, toy, toy haulers because they just don't have the room for it, you know? Uh, moving forward here, I like that little coachman clock. That's a nice little cute accent. Again, all your light switches are right in one spot. You got your outside lights like awning lights, porch lights, um, hallway, living room, all that stuff is just in one easy spot. Let me kick this back on real quick so we can look at our all-in-one entertainment system. You do not need to bring extra stuff, like extra electronics with you. It's all in one spot. AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth enabled, does it all. Just does it all. Um, the uh, little pantry here, again, you have more kitchen space than you realize. It's just kind of distributed um, in a, 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 a centrally uh, or focused location, but kind of scattered slightly. Let's 
hop in the bathroom here. First of all, this has a private, real bathroom. Not always found in every toy hauler. And look at this floor to ceiling linen cabinet. Now the ceiling in here is extra, extra tall because it does have that big toy hauler roof sweep. We still have a power vent fan as well as a skylight above the shower. And this is a, uh, a clouded spa style fifth wheel radius shower. What that means is that the door opens from the middle. You don't have to worry about a door swinging open. So if you're standing here, you don't have to back out into the hallway to open the door to walk in to take a shower. You can do everything right in here. And you actually have room to get dressed. Um, same countertops as the kitchen, as that table, it's a sealed edge here. So, uh, you know, again, if you're splashing water on that sink, no big deal, no problem. Oops, light switch is right over here. And again, just like the living room, one switch, lights, done. Bam, just that easy. Now, again, this is one of the areas where I thought this RV was very, very unique in that it has a full, true 80-inch uh, queen, 60 by 80, real queen bed that you can actually walk around. There's lots of space here. And there is an extra uh, interior storage pocket here separate from your outside storage. Both sides of the bed have outlets on these stands, so you actually have a place to set things. Um, oh, here's a really cool thing. These are a dual element light. You touch it once, you get a nice blue LED reading light. Not really bright sitting here today, um, but if you uh, hold the light, you get a nice actual bright spotlight, and you see that does do the job. But a, a blue light will glow off a white book page or something like that, so you can read at night without really disturbing your partner. We are set up for a TV against the wall over here, if you are so inclined, and this is a charging station right here. So uh, uh, at the end of the day, you can take your phone, you know, like I use mine as an alarm clock, so this is still within reach. I like that this is in the bedroom, but I can also keep my chargers tucked away. I don't have to have a big scraggle of cables hanging down looking ugly. It just, it's cleaned up a little bit, and that's what I like about these. Coachman has, uh, what, over 50 years in the RV business. They got it down. They got this really figured out, and it shows. So give us a call, 800-256-5196, Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping, everybody. Have some fun.